Greetings YouTubers, Twix24 here with an unedited unboxing. I bought an American Survival Guide magazine from Walmart on a recent trip. The magazine was a good read for 9 bucks. It had a lot of products shown, many reviews, and several interesting stories. Lots of ad as well, but one ad, but what else is new? One ad that caught my eyes was the Battle Box. So I went on the website and did a little investigating. What I found was there are four levels to choose from. They're basic for $25, two to four items, advanced for $50, five to eight items, which is the most popular, Battle Box Pro for $99, for $100, six to 10 items, and then Goober, I mean, Battle Box Pro Plus for $149.99, six to 10 items, plus a knife for the month. I picked the advanced one. Once you select your level, you put in a few things like belt, shoe, shirt, and pant size. After that, you put your shipping and payment information in, and then you wait. Battle Box is a monthly subscription. Mine just came in the mail, so let's open her up and see the goods inside. Nice knife. Great knife. Bought it from K-Bar's website. <clears throat> Alright, welcome to the first subscription of Battle Box. Who cares? This is the Mission 1 Welcome Kit. Um, I think this is something to start a fire with, or it's just a big joke. So I have a little mystery white box. We'll look at that later. I have an, an, an uber, uber neat sticker. I have that, a spoon, fork, knife, shenanigans thing. I have a compass, which is kind of funny because I think I already have this one. Then there's a fire starter. I have one that I got on cheaperthandirt.com, which I like, probably like better. I'm not a big Bear Grylls fan, so I stay away from that stuff. This survival book. Department of the Army. I have something similar. A solar blankets. A signaling mirror. Don't have one of these. That's kind of cool. Oh, two old army style can openers. And I'm assuming this is a little neat little flashlight. But I have. A couple other really good flashlights. CRE, third good brand. <clears throat> Excuse me. Well, that was interesting. I think I'll give it one more try and see what I think, then make a decision. But I think this might be a good buy. But the only thing I don't like is all this, you can see, they really show you what you're getting in the mail. And I would much prefer a simpler, basic, generic box. And yeah, I got found a $2 bill. As always, God bless America, one nation under God.